Colleen McGee and Alexander Spector live in this RV parked in Burbank, California with their dog Mimo. The quarters are tight, but they say it's a step up. I became homeless because I couldn't afford my rent and I ended up living in tents or, or bushes or whatever. Um, then I was, I got into an RV and that's more like a home kind of thing. Um, at least there was shelter. Through circumstances um, of my own, uh, I was on the streets for a while, and um, living on the streets is awful. Um, and so over time, you you know you make little moves and you talk to people, and um, opportunities arise. And sometimes you have the opportunity to to move into one of these. They have lived here for two years and are part of a growing trend. 14,000 of the estimated 75,000 homeless Los Angeles County residents are living in their vehicles. The scale of the problem is just immense. All of our major corridors are choked with RVs and vans that have been parked in many cases for months or years. Los Angeles City Councilwoman Tracy Park introduced a measure to regulate the sale of RVs and vans that are used for housing. It was unanimously approved by the council at the end of August. Now L.A. County is considering something similar. The new ordinance would require the sale or lease of an RV uh, here in the city of Los Angeles to comply with all other state and federal laws, including that the operator have a valid driver's license, that it meet basic operability standards, as well as things like fire and environmental standards. The ordinance has no impact on people living in RVs now, but even if governments tried to pass laws affecting them, they say they don't think it would work. They're never going to disappear. They can't tow all of them, and so they're just going to go somewhere else. And um, if they try to make it illegal to live in a van out here, then people are going to do it anyways. Nearly a third of Californians are living in or near poverty, with poverty in Los Angeles County the highest in the state, according to the Public Policy Institute of California.